All right, Satan, so, uh... Not now, Joby. I'm updating my Facebook status. On an apple? Yeah, on an apple. I mean, are you smart? Let me give you a little history lesson right here. Okay. Where do you think this logo came from on the back? This little apple right here? Think about a little, little tree of life, uh -huh. maybe? Uh, what do you think was hanging on that tree of life? They just call it fruit, right? Ah, apple. See this bite mark right here? Eve, that's her handiwork right there. This week, we're going to be talking to our folks here at Beach about um, how we've been called as Christians to share our faith with really anybody and everybody. And I was wondering how, what you thought about that. I don't think I've ever seen uh, an easier tool that I can take and create division with. It's not even anything solid. They just grab onto it and go, oh, hey, you know, like, I'm too dumb to think of something to myself, so I'm just going to go with faith. You know, that's what I got going on in my life. It seems to me that, um, I don't know about folks all over the country, but a lot of our folks right here at Beach seem to be pretty bold in sharing their faith. What oh, sure. Sure, you're bold whenever you share your faith, uh, whenever you get on a plane and, you know, go to Jamaica. Talking to somebody about Jesus is, uh, I mean, come on, let's just be honest about it. It has got to be the most uncomfortable thing any of you have ever done. You go up to the Pope and be like, hey man, I'd like to tell you about Jesus. You know, he'd look at you and be like, hey look, freak, why don't you settle down and let's just leave work at work. You know what I'm saying? You just came out of church and you're having lunch over at, uh, I don't know, wherever your favorite lunch spot is. You go over to Jason's Deli and you're just like, hey, I'd like to tell you about Jesus. And then the person that's waiting on you, maybe they humor you a little bit. They're like, oh yeah, sure. And then they walk away and they're like, oh, they better leave me a tip. So Satan, uh, I gotta ask you a question. The guy holding the bullhorn and the big placard going into the Jaguars game that says uh, everybody's going to hell. What do you think about that guy? Oh, love that guy. See, that guy is great because he wants to tell you a whole bunch of stuff, but he hasn't earned the right to be heard in your mind yet. So you're going to disregard pretty much anything that guy says, creating more division uh, amongst the masses and uh, at the same time really isolating him. So nobody's going to listen to him, but even more importantly, Nobody's going to listen to that guy's message. That's why I like that guy. And so it sounds like you've been doing a lot of work like in churches around this. Oh, for sure. If you guys have ever been to, uh, oh, I don't know, a uh, uh, deacon's meeting or, uh, or anything like that, you, you need to show You've up been to a deacon's meeting? Oh, absolutely. I show up all the time. If you have uh, never gone in there and seen one deacon stand up and yell at another one and then just cuss him out, you need to go check it out. It is a sight to behold. So what would you say um, to people that have already put their faith in God, because I know you can't really touch them, <clears throat> what would you say to them about um, telling other people about our Heavenly Father? Good luck with that, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's just wildly uncomfortable. Let's just be honest and upfront about it. It's a wildly uncomfortable thing. It's going to be real tough on you.